So I thought my video for this week was going to be about that movie I mentioned in my previous video, but when I looked at the calendar I realized that the new Fall Out Boy album comes out on Friday, March 24th, and since I like to upload on Fridays, I'm like, yeah, we're going to do something on that. And so I had this nice big video planned looking back at all their previous albums and talking about the one that's coming out and why I was excited for it. But of course, life looked at that plan and went, uh. <laughs> and as a result, it has been one of those, if anything can go wrong, it will go wrong weeks. Like it has been a ridiculous, just one thing after another, you know? See, do you see what I mean? No sooner did I finish recording for this video than I come out and it's like, let me clean up the pantry. And I grab this bag of chocolate chips and turns out it was open. So now I get to spend the next 10 minutes picking up all these little chocolate chips that had to go freaking everywhere. It's like, ah. <sighs> this week is just not my week. So the video didn't really end up getting completed. Every time I tried to work on it, something else got in the way, so, you know, I guess I could technically complete it if I literally worked on it all day today and then all day tomorrow, but even then it would end up being rushed, and, you know, I, I don't, like, my videos aren't great, I'm still in the hang of editing and all that stuff, but I definitely don't want to rush something and then have it, and then look back at it and go, wow, I really wish I'd taken my time with something like that, considering it's something I really liked and wanted to talk about. So I'm going to put that video off for now and end up turning it into a video where it's a look back at all of Fall Out Boy's albums, including the new one. So instead of it being what I'm excited for regarding the album, it'll be more of a, this is what I thought of the album. I will say, I do think it's really neat how they're incorporating this smile frown face everywhere. It's been a while since they did something like that. In fact, I think the only time they really did do something like that was uh the keyhole from from under the cork tree and you know i watched the video for i think it was love from the other side and i was getting some serious nightmare before christmas vibes which makes sense because i remember reading somewhere once that pete wentz is a big fan of nightmare before christmas which i can totally get behind being a bit of a fan myself so <laughs> yeah, definitely thought that was cool and I'm so excited. You know, I I say this in the video that'll come out eventually sometime, but while I am a fan of Fall Out Boy in general, I do tend to lean more towards their pre-hiatus work rather than post-hiatus. And since this album is kind of an imagining of what another album in the pre-hiatus style would have been, I am so stoked you don't even know. Like, I am more excited about this than my permit. Which, by the way, guys, I mentioned in the speed painting video I was going to take the test that week. I went, I took the test, and I passed. And not only did I pass, but I did that without no studying. Because I know myself. I test well. The only time I don't test well is if I try and study for something. There is just something about studying for me that just makes all the information fall out of my head the minute I show up to take the test. So I'm like, I'm not going to do that to myself. I just decided one day, you know what? I'm going to go in. I'm going to take the test. So we swung by the house real quick. I grabbed the study guide they gave me. I flipped through it on the ride over. Like, mm, yeah, I'm going to want to know that. Mm, yeah, that's probably going to come in handy. Oof, I'm glad I saw that. And I was absolutely right. I missed no questions on the sign test, and I only missed two out of the operator test. And even then, I can't remember which questions I missed, but I remember it was the wording that tripped me up, the way the question was framed. I felt like it was a bit of a trick question, and, you know, it tricked me. <laughs> but point is, I am so happy about that. And I'm also happy because in that same video, I mentioned I play a lot of chess on chess.com, and... I was trying to get from, I think it was the Crystal League to the Elite League. Not only did I do that, I did advance, but I also have gone from Elite to Champion. I advanced again! 
The only rank above me is legend. And let me tell you what, people take that seriously. The people in my division are not kidding around. There are people who already have a thousand plus trophy points and there's still days left on this. I just gave up. It's like, I will try for legend next week. So that way I can, you know, work on it from the start. Cause like I said, everything kept getting in the way this week. So I definitely didn't have the opportunity to play chess that much, but yeah. I got my permit, I advanced in chess, not once, but twice, and I am still more excited for this Fallout Boy album than either one of those things. Because, you know, for all the reasons I already stated, and then, you know, I think it's really cool that they're having an album called So Much for Stardust, considering the theme of stars seems to weave itself through a lot of their work. I mean, um, my song's Know What You Did in the Dark from Save Rock and Roll has that line about a constellation of tears on your lashes. Um, Infinity on High was completely starry dream themed and um, there's a line in Seven Minutes in Heaven from From Under the Cork Tree where it says I'll be stuck fixated on one star while the world is crashing down. There is a line I love in 27 from Foley Adu about I've got a lot of friends who are stars but some are just black holes. You know just it makes sense that that finally would have culminated in an album that, you know, just reflects that, you know? I don't know. I'm not making any sense. I'm sleep deprived from nightmares. <laughs> Another ghost dream. And of course, my brain found a way to work around the lucid dreaming stuff that I practiced so that I could wake myself up from nightmares by going, oh yeah, that's not going to work this time. So, um, just real quick, I'm terrified of ghosts. Like, I've just seen way too much stuff to just not believe in them. And then I have this weird thing where it's like, even if 99.9% .9 of people who say they saw something or experienced something weird or unexplainable are either lying or there is a logical explanation for what happened, that still leaves 0.01% of people who saw or experienced something you can't explain. And let me tell you what, reading Glitch in the Matrix stories, oh, that is a rabbit hole. If you fall down, like you will start to question everything. But I'm also forgetting what my point was. The point is, I believe in ghosts. I was having a ghost dream. Well, nightmare. I feel like I'm jinxing myself by saying all this. I feel like there's a ghost somewhere around listening that's going to be like, oh, oh, you're going to talk like that about us? <laughs> oh, just you wait. So yeah, that worries me just a little bit. But point is there was ghostly stuff going on my brain became aware that I was dreaming and it's like you can get out of this all you need to do is scream because that's um something I've learned to do when I become uh aware that I'm dreaming is that if I can hit something or if I can use my voice loud something to kind of wake up the real life physical part of my brain then I can wake up in real life well, my brain has decided to circumvent that by literally making me unable to hit or scream in a dream. And by that, I mean, I can hit and I can, you know, make noise with my mouth, but the hits, there's absolutely no force behind them. Even if I'm punching something as hard as I can, it's like, it's like a mouse just came up and swat you on your leg and you're like, dude, it takes more force to get out of bed. And then when I try and scream, it's just like, that's literally all I can do and that's what happened last night it's like no no try again we need to wake up it's like ah, like literally what do you think I'm trying to do and so I tried it a third time and out came this scream thank goodness and I woke up in real life and I'm just like <sighs> it's fallout boy release day <laughs> Have a good one, you guys. Um, I will see you next week with another Harry Potter video. This one is actually already pre-recorded and ready to be edited into a video, so there shouldn't be any hiccups. It's actually a sister to the last video, but instead of being the five worst casted slash portrayed characters, it's just the five best casted characters. I actually came up with ten, which I think I might say in the video, so apologies in advance for repeating myself, but... I thought to be fair to the previous video, I'd narrow it down to five. I might actually end up doing a second part with the other five, just because, you know, I really do like their castings, but that's for the future. I gotta go do some chores and pretend like I'm not dead on my feet right now. But yeah, I hope everyone has a great weekend, and hopefully I will see you next week. See ya!